In this video, I'm going to show you some different ways that we can use our brush the right way so that we can create all different kinds of lines in the unit that we have coming up where we're going to be learning about lines in art and creating lines in our art. So first of all, make sure that you have a small detail brush. A detail brush is a little skinny brush, a paper towel, and your paint. Now first, I'm going to show you how to um, use the brush on a regular piece of paper, and then I'll show you how we're going to do it on our lantern. So first things first, when you get your brush, you just want to dip it a little bit in the paint, okay? Just a little dip the tip. Everyone say dip the tip. Go ahead. There we go. So just dip the tip. We don't want to glob it like this. When we glob it like this, we get a whole lot of paint on there and it's hard to control it. If you forget and accidentally do that, just wipe it off on your paper towel. We're not using water for this particular lesson because we're not switching colors, so just wipe it on your paper towel. So once you have a little bit of paint dipped on the tip of your brush, then you can start painting different kinds of lines. Now, if you'll notice, my paintbrush is up on its tippy toes, almost like it's um, a ballet dancer. What we don't wanna do is we don't wanna take our brush and scoot it down like this and have it scooting around on its bottom, okay? So always up on the tippy toes. Now, when we go to paint our lantern, first we wanna make sure that it's flipped over so we're not seeing the side with the photocopy. That way that part is hidden on the inside. And we just want to dip our tip. And before we paint, we wanna make some decisions about what kinds of lines we wanna do. Now I'm gonna put a big variety of different kinds of lines on the board. Variety means all different kinds. You can choose to do some straight lines if you would like, if you're just trying to get the hang of using the brush the right way. You can also, if you want, choose some different styles of line. And when we do this, we wanna go all the way from the top to the bottom. So let's say while I'm painting with my little bit of paint on the tip, I start to run out of paint because I'm painting a long line. I can just go back and dip the tip again. I don't need to glob a whole lot on there. Now I'm keeping my paint inside of each of the lines that I cut. So let's say I wanna try a wavy line now. And I'm gonna dip my tip again. Now, I want you to take your time doing this. If this takes you more than one class to do, that is totally okay. Please just make sure that you are only dipping the tip of your brush. If you are creating zigzag lines, like this, or if you are creating curly lines like this, or if you are creating dotted lines like this, always just dip the tip and only use the tippy toes of your brush. And you can choose as many different kinds of lines as you would like when you are doing this. 